Oh, Sal. Sal hasn't made a debut in a while. I know. He needs more airtime. What do you have to say? He says, I'm uncomfortable. Please put me down. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It is Clayton and I here at Summit Auto Lab in Park City. So I check my Instagram often, and when I do, I check my DMs, and a lot of you guys wanna see just kind of what we do day to day. So today is actually kind of an exciting day because we have a really cool car in the shop. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is Clayton and I's absolute dream car. Don't look at me, look at the car. Oh my gosh. So this is a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. You wanna give them the specs, Clayton? It's just got a Hellcat engine, supercharged V8, 707 horsepower. It's just a Hellcat engine. It's just that. Just, just a Hellcat. No, no big deal. Clayton popped the hood, so I'm assuming he wants to talk about the engine. Well, Ooh. no, I just want to show him. There's nothing to talk about. Where's the supercharger? Right here. Right in front of my face. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so it's an SRT with a supercharged Hemi? <laughs> no. SRT is street race and track. It's like the, the fun division of oh. Chrysler. They're the ones that design the cool cars that Dodge makes, but it's a supercharged oh, Hemi. That's right, that's right. This is a Hellcat. That's it's an right. SRT Hellcat. The I... SRT is like the people, the department who built the car. I was confused for a second. And they I call like it the- I like that word, supercharged. Supercharged. It makes everything more exciting. Well, Faith, you learn something new every day. I do. You. you know what else I learned from you? Is why Jeeps have the seven rings in front. Oh yeah, do you guys know why? So this is traditional. Every Jeep has had seven like rings in their grill. So Jeep was the very first car to drive across every continent on Earth. Jeep. That's what's up, Jeep. Seven continents. That's in, what's up. There's seven continents on Earth if you didn't know. Jeep, what a flex. So you guys are probably wondering what we're doing with this car. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but this car needs a little TLC. So someone had a little fun fun session drawing on the car here. So we're gonna clean that up along with the rest of the paint. And then we're actually throwing a ceramic coating on it, which Boom. we're using our good guys, Avalon King. Now, um, we just washed the car as you saw. Um, next up is polishing. Polishing is very boring. Yeah, polishing really, I mean, it's just like four or five hours of the same thing. Exactly, and I'm oh. pretty sure you guys don't wanna watch us polish for four to five yeah. hours. I don't know, maybe like 15 seconds? Maybe 15 seconds? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. She's crisp, she's clean, she's scratch free, and she's ready for ceramic coating. For those of you who don't know what a ceramic coating is, it's basically the most easy, effective, futuristic way to add a protective layer to your car. And the biggest benefit from ceramic coating your car is the ease of maintenance. Once this coating is on the car, one or two coats, on this one we are doing two coats, washing it becomes a million, and I'm not even joking, a million times easier. And we're actually doing two coats on the wheels here uh, so that they're a piece of cake to clean in the future. So that's actually not all that ceramic coating does. It also protects against light scratches, graffiti, bird droppings, and tree sap. And to top it all off, it actually makes your paint a lot more glossy and deep. Now, if you guys are interested in trying this out and saving tons of money at the same time, I highly recommend Avalon King's Armor Shield 9. Now, the reason why we highly recommend Avalon King is because they've spent years perfecting their formula, so it's super easy to apply and very forgiving if it's your first time trying it out. Okay, so it's pretty nuts how easy this is to apply. I'm gonna show you. Do a couple dabs. Apply like so. Let it sit for a couple minutes and then you wipe it off. It's literally as easy as that. So traditional carnauba waxes take a lot of elbow grease to get off and they also take a lot of elbow grease to put them on. But that was literally a piece of cake. Literally a piece of cake. Literally. Chocolate cake. Literally. So when we say it's a piece of cake, we're really not joking. Face barely putting any effort in right now. You just slide it across the paint real easy. We're going to go ahead and do two coats on the paint, two coats on the wheels. It's really just this for the next 20 or so minutes. Uh, so we're going to set you guys down and you enjoy while we just work our butts off.
Okay guys, the ceramic coating is done. We did two coats on the paint, two coats on the wheels, and then I did one coat on all the glass. So this, this guy's good to go. Oh yeah. All right, Clayton is gonna do the water test. You guys ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can dry the car with just water. That's what I'm talking about. So guys, I have pretty good news. So the owner of this car is pretty dang cool. His name is Todd and he owns Agility Customs. Agility Customs, you guys probably heard that because they're the ones that are doing the six by six Jeep build for the Strat. Yes, and he has so graciously given us permission to take this for a spin. Yeah. Should we go do that? He told me right when I picked up the car, he's like, don't fall in love with it now. And I was like, I already am. So Clayton drove it up here. So he's already been able to fall in love with it. Now it's my turn to fall in love with it. Yeah, I cannot wait to see your face. Oh no. I've never driven anything like this. The Gladiator. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh. similar. Man, I think we messed up. I think we should have saved up and bought a Trackhawk instead of the Range Rover. We're gonna own the Range Rover for quite some time, but I definitely think that once we sell the Range Rover, uh, the Trackhawk is a very, very strong possibility. I cannot wait to see face face. Ooh. Guys, I miss the SRT. I love the Range Rover, but my heart, my heart will always be, be with Jeep. Should I put it in sport mode? Sport. So tense in your forearm. Jeez. I wasn't breathing that whole time. Oh my gosh. It took her breath away. I'm blushing. <laughs> Is it the new I, love of your life? I fell in love with this car the second it came out. So my my love has just deepened. Your love has deepened. Yeah. Alright, let's get some exterior shots of this thing in all its glory, its glossy glory. Okay. It looks so good under the Utah sun right now. That ceramic coating looks so dang good. It's so classy. I guess Faith was not done driving it. So I'm just going to stand here and eat her dust, I guess, until she comes picks me up. Jeez, Faith, slow down, man. Luckily, our friend's super cool, and he told us to do this, so. Gotta use the car for how it's built. You're taking off like that, what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I knew she was gonna fall in love with it. You want one now, right? I've always wanted one, what are you talking about? I was looking for track hawks on car gurus while looking for a Range Rover. While I was waiting for you eating your dust, it sounded really, really good. It sounds so good, the supercharger wine. Yeah. Because we did the ceramic coating late last night, it's fully cured, ready to go. There is a little bit of dust on the Utah roads because we do live in a desert. We're gonna race back to the shop and give it a really good rinse. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you guys how much this thing beats up when I hit it with the power washer. You said race? You wanna oh, race, race? Back? You said race? We're gonna win this race. race. I don't know who we're racing, but. Hold up. Before we wash the car, you wanna race this against the Range Rover? Even though I, I, I don't think of that. we clearly know who's gonna win, I just kind of want to watch Dude, him. The track are gonna smoke the Range Rover, L but let's go do it really quick. Yeah, super quick. Uh, here's a cold start on a 2014 Range Rover Supercharged V8. Don't expect much. I got one question for you. You ready to lose? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I know I'm gonna get my butt kicked. But really, the only reason I'm doing this is because I just want to see them race. That's really it. Barrister, pretty good. 
She just uh, kind of went home. Oh no, she turned around, she turned around. I thought I heard her feelings, jeez. This thing is a beast. Okay, so after that, I feel like my perception of how fast this car is skewed because the Trackhawk is just stupid fast. That was a little tough, but you know what? I like my Range Rover, okay? I like it and I'm just gonna use this as motivation to keep saving up for one of these bad boys. Start rinsing. Do it on the hood. Ow, ow! Look at that. It literally just falls right off. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm, it's as soft as a baby's butt. Yeah, soft as a baby's bottom. Let's keep it PG, Fade. So if you guys want this glossiness on your personal car, definitely click the link in the description below, get your special offer, try Avalon King. I promise you will not be disappointed. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and watching me get smoked. It's okay though. One day we'll own a track hawk. Like this video if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.